so in this video I'm going to be talking about the muscles which move your neck. Primarily I'm going to be talking about neck flexion and extension, but I will also mention a couple muscles that are on your neck which aren't actually moving your neck. So starting with neck flexion, the muscles doing neck flexion are going to be on the front of your neck because they're pulling your head forward down to your chest. So this large muscle here is the sternocleidomastoid. It's called that because it's attached to your sternum, clavicle, and mastoid process. If we look on the deep side of the model, we can see under the sternocleidomastoid you have three muscles. The anterior scalene, middle scalene, and posterior scalene. So all of these muscles will flex your neck. So bend your head forward like you're putting your chin to your chest. However, if you are flexing them unilaterally, so only one side at a time, then you will laterally flex your neck, which is bend your head down like you're touching your ear to your shoulder. From the posterior scalene, if you keep working your way back, now you're at the levator scapulae. Like you can guess from its name, the levator scapulae is not going to move the neck. The levator scapulae actually elevates the scapula. So when you shrug your shoulders, you're using your levator scapulae. Next to the levator scapulae is the splenius capitis. And the splenius capitis is sitting over top of the semispinalis capitis. And then sitting over top both of those muscles is the superior portion of the trapezius. Remember, the trapezius is a giant muscle, so we're only seeing part of it here. But this part of the trapezius, the semispinalis capitis, and the splenius capitis are all extending your neck. So they help keep your head in an upright position. Um, and also, they help pull your head backwards towards your back. Real quick, I'm going to go back and mention some muscles I skipped underneath the sternocleidomastoid, just to help you keep things in perspective. This muscle here is the superior belly of the omohyoid. Omo means shoulder, so you find the inferior belly of the omohyoid pointing towards the shoulder right here. And next to the superior belly of the omohyoid is the sternohyoid because it's going to attach to your sternum. If you want to learn more about the hyoid muscles, I have an entire video dedicated just to them that I will link in the description.